Hi, my name is Sharice and I am starting a, a new YouTube channel. Um, so welcome to the City of Starlight. I'm also working on a blog with a similar name. Link is in the description if you want to check that out. Um, so I thought it would be really nice to get to know each other through a nice book tag. Um, this one is the bookshelf scavenger hunt. So I got my bookshelf ready. Um, so it consists of 18 points or books that you have to find on your bookshelf. And I already know I won't find all of them because my bookshelf is not that elaborate but I'm working on it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy and uh, if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and follow me on my blog. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is find an author's name or title with a Z in it. So I did some research on this one because I knew I wouldn't find one otherwise because it's an odd letter to find in a name. So I picked this one. Um, it's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, but it's in Dutch because I was too young to read English when this came out. But I'm still... Uh, wanting to have a nice box set in English, but I'm looking for like a nice one with nice covers. Okay, so the second one is find a classic and I don't have many classics so I needed to know which one I wanted to pick for this one and it is Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. It's always been one of my favorite uh, Disney movies ever and this book in particular was a gift from one of my colleagues or former colleagues. She went to a book fair and she knew I liked the movie and it was like only a couple of euros so she thought oh I'm gonna give it as a gift so still love it. Thank you very much for this one and it made an appearance on this first video of mine. <laughs> okay number three is find a cover with a key on it um, and I don't think I have one but I'm still gonna look because maybe it could be on this one Okay, I don't think I have one with a key on it, but I did have one with uh, a key on it. It was one of the Vampire Diaries books, but I brought it to a second-hand shop like a couple of years ago. But I do remember it that I that it was like a key with blood on it because, well, vampires. But I don't have it anymore, so I have to pass on this one. Okay, number four is find something on your bookshelf that is not a book. And this one was very easy because I have a lot of things on my bookshelf. I have some gemstones right here. Um, so this is Amethyst. I used to collect a lot of them. Um, I have a lot of them right here, like these ones I got from my uh, grandmother. Um, what else do I have? I have my Mickey statue over here, my crystal flowers, my Me To You teddy bears. Oh, just a lot. A stone with my name on it. I liked it very much. It's from one of my holidays in France. So yeah, easy one. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is find the oldest book on your shelf. So it can only be one of two possibilities. That's either Alice in Wonderland or The Picture of Dorian Gray. So Alice in Wonderland. So this in particular was from uh, 93. And The Picture of Dorian Gray first published in 1890. So this one, the picture of Dorian Gray from 1890, not this edition, but the first edition of this book was from 1890. So this one is definitely the winner. Um, it was a good book, but it was sometimes difficult because there was a lot of politics and philosophy in it. So I liked it, but it wasn't as a quick read as any other. So for number six, we have to find a book with a girl on the cover. Um, because I read young adults a lot, it's very easy to find one. Um, so we have the Mortal Instruments series, um, the uh, Mocking Jay or Catching Fire, um, a lot of my um, historical novels have ladies on them, but if I'm going to pick, I will pick this one. Um, I just finished it like a week ago. It's Court of Miss and Fury from Sarah Ye Maas. Um, it's a very good book. I really love it. It's better than the first one. I'm reading the third one at the moment, so The Court of Winter and Ruin. Um, it's almost finished and I'm trying to get it to finish this week so I can read another book. Um, but yeah, so this one. Okay, for number seven, we have to find a book with an animal on it. 
Um, let's see. Okay, so this one, uh, it's called Torek and Wolf by Michelle Pavard. It's one of my older books. It's in Dutch, so uh, it was when I was really young and I couldn't read English as well. Um, but I did like it. It's a whole series. There are six books of it. And it's really easy to read. So if you're still young and you don't really like reading or you don't read at a high level yet, it's really easy to read those. Um, it's set in ancient times and a boy has lost his father in the woods and he meets a wolf cub and together they um, have to fight the darkness that uh, uh, rules the earth at that moment. For number eight we have to find a book with a male protagonist. So this is really hard for me because I don't have a lot of them. Um, let's see. I could go back to Harry Potter, but I already mentioned that one, as well as Stork and Wolf, so... So this one, uh, it's called Four and it's by Veronica Roth. Uh, she also wrote the Divergent series and this one is like a novella that follows um, the other books. Well, not really follows, it's like four different stories. Um, from the POV of four in the books. But I haven't read it yet because when I finished the uh, Divergent series there were a lot of other books I wanted to read so it's still on my TBR list but I will get to it someday. <laughs> okay so the next one is find a book cover with only words on it. Um... Okay, so the closest I could find was uh, the picture of Dory Gray by Oscar Wilde again. So it does have a little bit of the swirls around it, but it's the only one without a picture or like a drawing or something. So I have to do a repeat on this one. It's the closest one I could find. For number 10, we need a book with drawings in it. So I know which one I wanted to pick. Um, it's over here. It's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, there's some of the pictures of the Fantastic Beasts in here. It's not really pictures, but like artistic drawings. So like this one, this one. First I thought I wouldn't like this book because it was just um, the script of a movie. But when I watched the movie, I wanted it so badly. So I uh, bought it and I read it. And if you read it after you saw the movie, it's much easier and the jokes really make you think about the movie scene, so that was really funny. <laughs> okay, so for number 11 we need to find a book with gold lettering on it. And I have a few of them, but I wanted to pick a newer book. Um, let's see where I put it. It's this one, it's The Invisible Library by Genevieve Kochman. I only picked it up on Saturday when I was shopping. Um, so I haven't read it yet, but it's on my TBR uh, list. So it's about a, a library that um, harvests fiction from different realities. So I'm very interested in how this will play out. So number 12 is Find a Diary, and I know I don't have one, so I'm not even going to look. So number 12 is find an author's name that is really common, like Smith, and I do have uh, these ones. So it's um, Paper Towns by John Green, and The Fault in Our Stars also by John Green. So I guess John is a really common name. Um, I really enjoyed uh, both of the books, but I read them after I saw the movie, so the ends were a bit spoiled for me. Um, I like to try reading books after I watch the movie, but I think it's hard just because you already know the end of the story. Um, but I watched both of the movies and with this one I really cried at the end. All the theater was crying at the end, so they were really good. I do um, recommend them for people that haven't seen the movie yet, but for people who have seen the movie it's really similar to the books. So if you want to see the movie and read the books, read the books first. Number 13, that's where you have to find a book with a close-up of something on it. Um, so I'm not going to pick one with a girl in it because we already did that one or with an animal. Um, let's see.
I guess this should go as a close-up, so it's a close-up of a crown. Um, it's the Red Queen series, so this is by uh, Victoria Aveyard. It's a really good series, I waited a long time to read the third one of this because it just came out this year. Um, it's about a world that is divided between reds and silvers, so the reds have red blood and the silvers have silver blood and have special abilities and the reds are being used as slaves by the uh, stronger silvers and there's one girl that has uh, special abilities and she will um, try to overthrow the silver uh, rulers of them. Um, so it's really really good if you like young adults, it's um, a bit of sci-fi fantasy so if you're into it you should read it, it's a really good uh, fantasy novel. For number 15 we have to find the hardcover without his jacket um, so I don't know if I have one because I always keep my jackets because they're mostly more nice or more decorated than the hardcover itself. Um, but I don't really have that many hardcovers. I do have this one. Carved the mark by Veronica Roth, but it still has a sleeve on it, so it doesn't count. I have to pick this one. It's not really a novel or anything. It's uh, from the Greek mythology. It's also in Dutch, so sorry if you can't read it. Um, but it's um, all of the uh, various short stories about Greek mythology. So, for example, which one have I bookmarked here? It's from uh, Pandora, from Pandora's box. Um, so it's a complete story of uh, what happened uh, with Pandora's box. Or this one from uh, Daphne the Nymph um, shows she's a nymph um, that is chased by a man she doesn't like and she turns herself into a tree. So it's a really nice book if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I am because I studied history. Um, so it's really nice, um, just quick read. Some are just like two paragraphs, some are multiple pages like Hercules. Um, but yeah, it's really fun to read just like if you're on a train and you want to read something or just if you have a little bit of time. <laughs> So for number 16 we have to find the teal or turquoise covers book um, and I know exactly which one I wanted to uh, show you. So it's not on my bookshelf because I'm currently reading it. I almost true, so I'm right there. Um, it's Court of Winds and Ruin by Sarah Yemas. It's a very very good book, so as I mentioned this series is uh, three books, Court of Thorns and Roses, Court of... Um, Miss and Fury, and then this one, Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, my colleagues have recommended me these, so my colleagues at the bookshop um, have recommended me these, and I caved and I bought them all, and I really, really love them. I haven't regretted buying them, um, so if you're into a young adult mystery uh, magical uh, books, this is the one for you. So number 17 is find a book with stars on it. Um, let's see. Okay, so this one is Caraval and it's by Stephanie Gaber. Um, so it's also one of my uh, newly uh, bought books. So uh, I also bought this on Saturday. Um, it does have like tiny stars in it, if you can see. Um, it's the only one who can fit this uh, category. Um, I saw it on a lot of uh, other YouTube channels that people read these. So I'm very curious about this one. Okay, so for the last one we have to find a non-young adult book. Um, so these are almost all young adults. Um, okay, so this one is one of my historical novels. So it's called The Other Queen by Philippa Gregory. I have some other books of her. I have Three Sisters, Three Queens, um, The Queen's Fool, um, which one? Um, the White Princess and The Virgin's Lover, but this one is one of my favorites of uh, her. So it's about um, Mary Queen of Scots uh, during her period where she was captured by her niece, um, Queen Elizabeth of England, um, and how she tries to escape and reclaim her throne. 
So that was was all 18 of them. I hope you liked this first video of mine. Um, so if you want to check out more of my content, you can always check my blog, The City of Starlight. Link is in the description. Um, it's not quite there yet, but I'm working on it. So if you want to check it out and give me some love, um, it's always appreciated. And stay tuned for another video.